Accused killer Robert Durst admits that he lied on the witness stand and to authorities. You could get a verdict in his trial today. That's as the jury begins its deliberations. Susan Hendricks has a look at really a bizarre case. I have difficulty believing in myself that I would write the letter and have not killed Susan Berman. Dramatic testimony from real estate heir Robert Dirtz, the multimillionaire admitting he wrote this cryptic letter to police, alerting them to the location of his best friend's dead body, but maintains he didn't kill Susan Berman. Durst is charged with first-degree murder in her death. Prosecutors say in 2000, the millionaire shot Berman at her Los Angeles home to stop her from talking to police about his role in his first wife, Kathleen's suspicious disappearance in 1982. Susan Berman, although loyal, was not the best at keeping secrets. Durst has maintained his innocence in both cases. The bizarre story drew national attention as the focus of the HBO series, The Jinx, where in the final moments, Durst made a series of stunning comments. There it is. You're caught. Kill them all. Of course. Durst's trial was put on hold for more than a year because of the pandemic. His health now in visible decline. This L.A. trial isn't the first time he's been charged with murder. After Berman's death, Durst moved to Galveston, Texas, and pretended to be a mute woman. And in 2001, while there, Durst shot and killed a neighbor and cut up his body. Durst told a jury it was all in self-defense. He was acquitted. But Durst just testified he has lied under oath before and even saying if he had killed, he would lie about it. There's the big point. He said if he did, he would lie anyway to HLN legal analyst Joey Jackson. I don't know about you, but it's got to be tough to be um, a jury member in this one. You just want to go say yeah. what? <laughs> Robin, good morning to you. Uh, quite bizarre indeed. <clears throat> and so this is what happens when you subject a client to cross-examination. We know that he testified in the case. We know he testified for a couple of weeks. I get it. I certainly understand why they had to put him on the stand. Why? Because of things he had to explain. Certainly, right, to Susan's excellent piece there, there was the show called The Jinx. And on The Jinx, he said something. I killed them all, of course. What did you mean by that, sir? You have to explain that. Otherwise, the jury would embrace that in the absence of other information. Also, with regard to a cadaver letter that he sends to the police, then indicating that, you know, only the killer could send that. Of course, he denied sending it for years, but you know what? It was found that he sent it, so he has to explain that. So I understand the basis or need, potentially, if you're the defense, to put him on the stand, but boy, did he undergo a withering cross-examination. What does that mean? Direct examination, Robin, we know to mean, sir, state your name for the record. What did you see? When did you see it? Where did you go? When did you go there? But cross-examination is about pressing you and having you answer questions. And in answering those questions, to your point, and I'll sum up here, he admitted to lying. He was caught in plenty of lies. Are you lying then? Right? Were you lying then or are you lying now? And so when you admit in fact that you lied and you conclude in saying, if I did kill Susan Berman, of course, and if I did kill anyone else, I would have lied about it, that's not a good look to the jury. And in the event that they indicate that you're lying and it affects your credibility, you know what? You're lying about everything. So I think it's a very difficult case for the defense. And I think certainly the jury has a lot to convict them on if they choose to do so. Um, it's not supposed to play into it, I would imagine, but he is a withering figure, if you will, in that he is frail. And he's 78 and he's been in a jail hospital through the trial. Seems like he can barely speak. Um, does that make it harder for a jury to make the harder decision? You know, Robin, it's a great point because, you know, to your point, you know, it's supposed to be about evidence and facts, not really how you look as a part of the trial. But people are humans. Jurors are humans. They have emotions. And so could it factor in? Absolutely. But if you look at the brutality with respect to the crime itself, shooting someone in the head, it also came up that he killed his neighbor, shot him too, by the way. Yes, he was acquitted. And then, of course, the murder with respect to his wife in 1982. Remember, the Susan Berman killing happened 18 years later. Uh, they heard a lot about, that is the jury, about death. And no matter how frail you look, 
if the evidence is compelling as to you doing that, I'm not sure they're going to care much about his ailing health. All right. As we get ready for um, that to happen um, as the jury thinks about what it is going to do here. Joey, our thanks to you for walking us through. I woke up early just like I always do. Mornings are tough. There's nowhere in this world that I would rather be than here with you. Count on Morning Express to start your day the right way. So let's scream and shout loud is good. You're tried and true for morning news. And of course, morning sunshine. Morning Express with Robin Mead. Weekdays starting at 6, only on HLN.